Greetings! Here's uh, me, Sumari Noah, part three of Air Memories World. Uh, let's go! So last we left off, we were here, just past the uh, the goddess there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully you could hear all that beginning, because I kind of had my sound on mute, but... Oh, hey. This looks familiar. Maybe not. I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Hmm, whatever. back to where we were before on the other side of the temple. So we kind of backtracked because I kind of wanted to see what was going on on this side because we kind of avoided it. But we are on our way back, I guess. I think this game only saves when you uh, enter a new region. So I want to try to complete this dungeon. Someone's have to twist the uh, bridge back around. That's what it's looking like. Ooh, uh, okay. It seems as if this door has been stuck for a very long time. Wonder if there even is anything on the other side. Uh, yeah, probably. Hey, Bones. Does this mean this is back in place? No. Nope. Does not look like it. Nope. All right. There we go. Fancy. 
smooth little magic curves jumping around. Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, our people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. Sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the paths to the land of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe shores here at my temple. A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent, tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Those fish are totally just like screw around. <laughs> Do backflips and stuff. Once again, the void has awakened with great hunger. This time to devour all that is left of our world. But there is still a chance to stop him. The priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make the three fragments one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost in the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. You don't even hardly know me, and you're gonna kill yourself because of it? Hi. I like that transition. You must be the void. I see the void coming out of the back. Right there. Cheap and a People's Haven. saving. So I suppose I should probably go back to the lighthouse, right? Which is this way, I think. Yeah. Oh! That time got messed up. I'm guessing not for such a small plateau, but...
people right over here. These great lakes are the domain of the fish, the water spirit, the spirit fish, the land of the gods. Well, if you say so. There should be a marketplace around here somewhere. Maybe if it's there. Or no, I guess it's down here, isn't it? Right? Yeah, probably. something on this island. Hey, birds. My name is Aram, and I was there on the day of the Great Divide. My youngest child was ill, and I asked the spirit animals for help. When I prayed by the shrine of Iliqui, a terrible brightness pierced the sky, air, and the land trembled and screamed. In terror, I took flight and watched with eagle eyes as the land broke into pieces which crumbled and turned to dust. Only one place seemed calm. I flew there and perched on it. Horror struck. It was the lighthouse. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed me. I saw the priestess Kara pass me by, weeping. She held a lantern key, such as they make in the city of Urza, but the lantern was dead. The shimmer came from Kara herself dwindling as I watched. She descended the lighthouse, and I saw that many spirit animals had gathered around the tower, watching. When Kara came to them, they bowed their heads, and then left as if it unspoken signal. It's about Kara's death. Kara then looked at me and said, You are Aram? I know you, and we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kara? She was silent for a moment and then said, A great danger has gone, but also a great light. It's time we gather all who are lost so that we may find a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I have been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home, to lead them here, where we in time may heal again, where my youngest can regain her strength. How did they get around? Did everybody know how to fly? Like a bunch of Rito. Oh, that's awkward. Sorry, bird. Of course. Let's see what this 
is over here. Is this the way we gotta go? Yeah, it is. Glasses keep slipping down my face. Sorry about that. Oh. Squished fox. Cool thing. In the beginning, there was the dreamer. A sleeping cold eternity, she dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil, she dreamed the creator of the world. And the world, modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced into the world, and there he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps and so made the lands of the north, the west, the south, and the east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds. And from earth and water he made animals so land and sea would be alive. From stardust and eternity he made gods to walk the land and look after the world. Dragonflies! Hmm. Hey, Bono. Still the way we gotta go. Yeah. Hey, what are you crabs doing? Achievement unlocked. An uninvited guest. Hey guys. No? Where the heck is it? Must be through the cloud bank. Okay, well, bye. So, here we go. This must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. Whee! Hey, John. <clears throat> Hello, Hawk. Oh, I guess I was using the other voice, right? Hello, Hawk. If you're looking for Bedvin, he is in the cave here in the village, probably studying some tablets. But what about a story? Maybe about how I met Dinah? No? One day I followed a honey-colored doe across an island in the east. The most beautiful doe I had ever seen. Suddenly I came upon came up to a bird shrine. She was there. But there she was, standing next to it. She smiled at me, and my heart was hers. Dana, not the no dummy. <laughs> there was the first it was the first time I visited the land of the gods. It I was chosen to take care of its lands while she was to inherit the duties for Kara's shrine. Pity that the shrine caved in. From what Dinah said it might not be possible to rebuild it. I'll try at least. It's okay. Maybe the east is next in line for a visit. It's a bit wilder than the western lands and there have there are many ruins from the time of the ancients there. I think the most impressive place is Leifa's Grove. Home to Leifa, the spirit deer of the land of good gods. In the grove grows a most mar remarkable giant tree. Like a storm cloud, that one. Leifla was Leifla. 
hasn't been seen in ages, but it's said he saved the tree from the Great Divide. The ancients built some kind of altar near the tree. So far, I haven't found out what it does. Might be worth to take a look. Maybe. Hey, yo, girl. Hey. Welcome back again, Ock. Isn't the Ock a bird? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's cool. I hope your travels are easy on you. Aaron is over here, or over her head and ears with joy that a real bird shifter came to visit. To the point where I'm a bit worried that she will run off somewhere on one of her expeditions. Once in the north, when we stopped for a rest, short rest by the hot springs, she was gone in a heartbeat. Looked all over. The storm of the Howling Peaks was less intense back then, but it was still very cold. I found a cave nearby and went on and to see if she was go had gone there. She has a certain affinity for hidden places. Same. As it turned out, the spirit bear of the north had just recently moved in there. Aaron sat on his back, talking about everything between sun and moon. Should I be proud or worried? Well, I always ran away at her age, so who am I to judge? I'm getting all nostalgic here from a pilgrimage. Let's see. So the next step is usually the archives, the temple in the east. The ancients built monuments and cities there, more so than in the west and the north. Joan has been there frequently, I know. It's said that the signs of the Great Divide were early spotted in the east. Much of the ruins have been reclaimed by the land, and just but just continue to the eastern steps, and it shouldn't be too hard to find. There's a kidlet. Now my reading capacity is dropping like a stone. <laughs> well, I guess your kidlet's dead. That's too bad. Shucks. Okay, well, it's time to go in and see Medba. Medna, well, whatever his name is. Back to Pilgrim Study. Ah, here we go. Can I still not read this? Medvin, that's his name. Hey, Medvin. <laughs> Welcome back, Ock. Come look at this. I think I know what you found. The keys to the caretakers. They are described as glowing symbols. So it warped into the lantern, you say? Spectacular. It pains me that I can't go with you, but my back would pain me more. What? You actually use the key? It makes sense they would open the temples, I suppose. But to think my apprentice would converse with the caretakers in person. We all believe the gods were either in eternal slumber or perished. Our prayers have been uh, to the spirit of the skies and lands and to our ancestors. I have a bad feeling, child. But if one was still slumbering, you should search for the other caretakers. Questions need answers before it's too late. It seems big changes are coming to our world, and I see you as my own daughter, Hawk. Be careful out there. Promise me as much. Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever, old man. Well, are you gonna tell me how to say that? First guess would be that the other characters still seek refuge in their temples by choice or not. I found a passage about eternal skies, rooms in the temples where the caretakers should speak or could speak with the ancients. Look for these rooms, Hawk. Okay.
So if we're going to the east, it's probably this way. It is. Ooh, airship. Ah. Guess we could actually just look at the compass and see how I kind of got it. Rabbit. She been unlocked. Antlers of Stone. Great spirit of the woods, hear our prayers. Guide us safely to she who has been entrusted in your ways and the ways of old. Look, can't crawl inside you? Nah. Baby sheep. That's terrible. Oh, there's that tree. Well, now that we've got here, uh, we've hit our half-hour limit here. Uh, I will see you guys next time here on Samarino Plays for part four of Air, Memories of Old. Ciao.